All right, everybody, welcome back to the KSR YouTube channel. We have been thrashing on the Black Viper that used to sit right there. So just a couple of days ago, Lee decided that he wanted to run Mid-Ohio with the Trans Am Series this weekend. And so we drug the thing out of the shop, stole the shocks off the red car because we still don't have our shocks back. Yeah, still a bad deal. But we came up with this giant list of stuff we had to do. And if you look around, the car's not in the shop either. It's because it's on the dyno. Because we have to do a dyno test on it for Trans Am. Just because we have to do that. So, hasn't run in over a year and a half. Cranked it up a few minutes ago. Set up the new clutch. We put a, a carbon clutch in it. And uh, it's time to put it on the dyno and beat it. Let's see what happens. the old girl up on the dyno and uh drew's running from the camera he's probably a little tired of working on this thing him and eddie been smashing on it the last two days and yeah, he's way over there but that's what the old girl looks like we've actually got it set up for mid ohio right now a good bit of camera in it you can't really tell and eh, maybe you can tell it's got some good camera in it and we're gonna dyno it and then we're gonna finish the setup on it because we're running out of time. And it just thought it made better sense to go ahead and dyno it now. But Eddie's actually strapping a one more bolt in the seat because it only had three. That's not good. So we're gonna go ahead and strap that down. You tired of working on a Viper? Uh, I love Vipers and I hate Vipers. <laughs> yeah, they're... Um, they're crude. And most Viper race cars, most of them, have been wrecked in one form or another. This one is no exception. So it doesn't take much. I'll show you like where the camber goes. So this is where we adjust the camber on these cars. You see the bottom of the lower control arm. Well, if this frame rail is pushed in you know, a, an eighth or three sixteenths of an inch. Well, it's got to be way out to achieve, you know, way out in the bracket here. You can kind of see the little steel slug piece, we call it. That, um, yeah, there you go. You can see it a little better now. So that's how we adjust the camber on these things. We have replaceable camber slugs. And if this is bent in, which we feel like it is about an eighth of an inch, it took some special camber slugs so this side has roughly 3.2 degrees of camber this side you can see the difference in the camber slug has 3.1 degrees of camber and you can see how much the bolt on this side is inside of the the little guide for the camber slug but over here it's actually hanging over it to achieve almost the same camber so that's just kind of the way these things get sometimes when they get crashed. Yeah, the frame probably could use some tweaking to pull it back straight. But here we are. The car's been raced like this for a long time and in the series that we're doing with Trans Am, the Pirelli tires seem to like a good bit of camber. So we end up with a pretty aggressive camber setup in the car. More so than we used to have to have with the old Hoosier tires that we were running. And because of that, we had to, like I said, make these custom camber slugs to slide it out. We have a kit that's got a big range of them for all kinds of different adjustments, but once we were beyond the adjustments, we were no longer able to balance the sides to the numbers that we needed to get. Anyways, let's dyno, let's make some noise. All right, well, we are all loaded up onto the dyno and what Trans Am wants, ooh, she's crooked too, so she's gonna straighten out a little bit after a roar. So how Trans Am wants their dyno test done 
It's three back-to-back -back runs, like no cool down time, hood closed, basically just like you were going down the straightaway at the racetrack. So I'm gonna warm it up. I'm actually gonna make a pull to see if the clutch slips. Brand new carbon clutch. Breaking it in right now on the dyno. This thing I think will probably make about 550. It's a stock V10, it's got headers and a tune. So nothing too crazy. And uh, don't tell Lee that his car was dirty. We got it filthy working on it. Lee, if you're watching, it'll be clean by the time you get here. All right, let's make some noise. All right, so one thing that's kind of wild about these carbon clutches, there's not really much slip to them. It's either on or off. So it's a little tough to get them going sometimes. And the way the carbon stuff works, the carbon clutches, it's carbon on carbon. So carbon fiber disc, carbon fiber floater. And this is actually a quad carbon that came out of another like twin turbo, 1500 horsepower car. So no problem for this car. But anyways, the way carbon and carbon clutches work, as they heat up, they stick together even more. So if you're trying to slip the clutch, well, it's making heat and then it's grabbing even harder while you're trying to be gentle and smooth and take off. So probably gonna stall it a few times here. It's part of the game. But once you're rolling, they work really good. So time to make some make some noise. Backup battery just in case. See if we can make some horsepower. This is a rear end that I just built in the car. Brand new transmission, brand new clutch, but the same engine that came in the car factory as far as I know. Well, she revs quick with that light clutch in it. All right, well, I'm gonna try and see if it'll take power for a full pull this time. Let's see what happens.
get a good RPM reading, but should be able to at least see horsepower. That sucker's consistent. So that's 140, 147 in fourth gear. Let me see if it'll hold third gear and we'll, we're done. the alignment put it in the trailer go to Ohio all right so we're back over in the other shop and one really cool thing this car has is uh, air jacks on it so with this magic stick thing <laughs> there <laughs> it's been a long day there plug in the stick plug it in she lifts all by herself Makes it real easy to get the uh, the lift underneath it. Lower it down. Show how it does, does that. So you pull the wand off. There we go. Race car. Race car. All right, back up. Yep. So we're gonna lift it up, get it in the lift, so that we can scale it, align it, and then we're going home. And Lee's gonna come pick this up and he's driving to Ohio tonight. So yeah, time for us to get this thing wrapped up. So there's what the air jack looks like with it extended. See there's four of them. And when we pop the air valve, they will retract. <laughs> it's kind of cool watching them go up. <laughs> Everything needs air jacks. Everything. <laughs> they are a little heavy though. We were talking about putting them on mullet originally when we were building mullet, but uh, mullet's already flirting with weight restrictions. So anytime you're in a drag car, you want to be light, which you guys saw with the carbon doors that he put on mullet. So why are you going to the moon? Belly pan. Belly pan, okay. All right, so belly pan, and then we're going to drop her on the scales, grease plates, do some aligning, some scaling, some corner balancing, and then we're done.
All right, everybody, look. There's still sunlight in the sky. And we are almost done. I should probably do my test drive before I say that, but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna send it. So we just vacuumed her out, aligned it, scaled it, wiping it down. Got some decals to put on it once we get uh, to mid-Ohio. Lee's sponsor, LandSearchFlorida.com. If you need some land in Florida, check it out. Can I do it? Can I, can I do it? Everybody clear? Ready? It's so cool. It's so dumb to me and so cool. <laughs> it is pretty sweet. Cool. Well, I'm going to go for hopefully one last test drive tonight. And then it will be ready for Lee to drive it in the trailer. Here we go. All right, so I'm going to go for a quick test drive. Buckle myself in, kind of snatch the car around sweat all over everything and make sure that everything feels kind of normal there's no clunks or pops that are abnormal these things are kind of clunky poppy in the suspension anyway because they're all solid but I know how to feel if something is too far out of whack typically I can tell Oops, I'm sitting on the left strap. All right. Well. Here we go.
Sticky. Chuck an axle out of this thing. All right, well, successful test drive. Little girl's looking good out in the daylight, or what's left of the daylight. And if any of you are in or near mid ohio sports car course in ohio this weekend we'll be there and hopefully we'll have some merch with us so if you guys want to buy some merch we're going to bring a little bit of merch with us just to have something for those of you that want something so it should be a pretty exciting weekend drew you ready to go to ohio i'm so ready to sleep in tomorrow <laughs> yeah we put some hours into this thing so it's been a thrash but we were ready before lee got here almost I'm counting it. Oh I'm counting it. It was on the ground before he pulled it. That's true. It was. Cool. There he is. Well, you ready to go racing? Yeah. Let's do it. I think it's ready. Sweet. Yeah. Sweet. All right. Well, see you guys in Ohio.